Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz for purists. We shun the nonsense of other shows. We don't have complicated gimmicks or prizes. In this building, every corner is Dictionary Corner. We also have encyclopedic floors, some academic doorways and a theoretical fire exit. So, good luck if you hear an alarm. And with that comforting thought ringing in their ears, let's meet the teams. On my right, Itzhak Matai, a classics graduate with an interest in mythology and a passion for world cinema. Drew Firth, a keen rower and amateur thespian who likes the work of Richard Dawkins. And their captain, Thomas Goff, a chemistry graduate who enjoys running and supports Somerset County Cricket Club. They all work together at a leading accountancy firm. They are the accountants. So if accountancy comes up, you'll be all right. How are you on the other subjects? Well, we've run the numbers and we're happy with the results. Do you have individual areas of expertise? Well, yeah, I think uh, Zach's got some mythology and classics covered and Drew likes the theatre. I don't really know my role. It's... You've got a Richard Dawkins fan there, so God's not on your side. <laughs> Let's hope Google will be. Who are you facing? On my left... Howard Kelly, a civil servant who enjoys reading detective fiction and completing crosswords. Tim Catlin, a bar manager with an interest in historical research, folk music and French cuisine. And their captain, Nancy Dickman, a children's publisher and a keen astronomer who doesn't have a telescope, but does have a degree in cinema history from Northwestern University in Chicago. They're all huge film buffs. They are the cinephiles. Nancy, you'll be looking familiar to some. Can you remind us of your previous visit here? Uh, I think you called us eviscerated bears at the time after we got annihilated uh, by the crossworders. You came along with a team of former mastermind champions right. and quailed in the face of the mighty crossworders. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> Even I do in the canteen. Let's see whether there's any quailing to be done tonight. We'll kick off with round one, as I think you'd expect. I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. The fewer clues you see before giving me the right answer, the more points you'll get. Cinephiles, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose your Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Bird equals yeah. yellow. What could Lady Bird books. be? Possibly. Books. I don't think books. they're yellow. Um, next, please. Cockroach. Ah, uh, ah, uh, colours of blood. I thought Lady Birds had green blood. Should we try one more? Yeah. Next, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's the colours of blood. That's right. It's the colours of their blood or lymph. Yellow in a ladybird, colourless in a cockroach. Spock has green blood, apparently, and you, according to my screen, have red blood. Some Although blood. I'm not going to test it. Why does, uh, why does Spock have green blood? Presumably because he's a Vulcan. There must be more to it than that. There's more there. to it than that, do you know? No. Um, do you know over there why Spock has green blood? No. no. <laughs> it has copper in it. I mean, it doesn't, obviously. He's a fictional character. <laughs> That's the idea. So, well done, cinephiles. You've got two points. Accountants, your turn to choose a hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. What's the connection here? You're going to be seeing the clues in the form of pictures. How are they linked? Here's the first one. It's um, like some kind of spatula, like a... Uh, uh, next, please. OK, this is a spoon. It's a spoon. Like, it's a like red that you'd use for eating grapefruit. Um, is that, is the first one like a grapefruit device? Maybe Next, please. It's a coring, it's like a core. And that's a melon ball there. Okay. Have so they all got, are they all, they all called something fruit. to do with the fruit? Okay. Nice. They're all spoons that have a fruit in the name. I'm afraid that's not the answer. So there's a bonus chance for the cinephiles. I'll show you the last clue. Can you tell me what the connection is? That's a garlic press. That's a garlic press, the first one, the second. Can't give you too long. Um, melon baller. they're all kitchen implements. But I know that's not specific enough for you. It's not specific <laughs> enough. No, you were close. Well, what did you think the first one was? I actually thought it was a, a spatch that you used in a chemistry lab. That first picture is a lobster pick. And a lobster is not formally a fruit. Lobster pick, a grapefruit spoon, a melon baller, a garlic press. It's simply their utensils designed for a particular foodstuff right. that has it in the name. So, no points there. Cinephiles, please choose a question. Um, horned viper, please. The horned viper. What's the connection here? Your time starts now. Touched by death. Touched by death. Is that uh, a novel, isn't it? By I'm not sure. sure of it. Oh, maybe it's not. Uh, next, one. please. Oh, uh, electrocuted by hospital, hospital generator. generator. These have got to be the way that people have died. 
that doesn't ring a bell, does it? I don't know. Next, please. Squashed by a cartload of underpants. Um, is that is, is Ken, ways that Kenny's died? Oh, oh that, yeah. That's, that's a good one. Ten seconds. Uh, we think it's ways that Kenny has died in South Park. The fourth clue would have been shot by Mr. Garrison. It's ways in which they killed Kenny in South Park. Touched by death, electrocuted, squashed and shot. It's not Tom and Jerry, is it? No. <laughs> Very well done, you get the points. Accountants, your turn to pick a hieroglyph. Two reads, please. Two reads. What's the connection between these four clues? Here's the first. Who could that be? Who would be an academic book? Um, next, please. Tycosper is Sam Smith. Oh, yeah. Would Sam Smith Thank also you. be an academic book? Should we buzz in? Can we need the points? I can't think of any type of Tycosper. Is it Sam Smith? I'm afraid that's not the answer, so I'm going to show two more clues to the cinephiles. Can you tell me what the connection is? Smith. I'm not going to accept that, I'm afraid. The other team had already said Sam Smith. Smith. I'd have had to hear John Smith. Smith alone is not enough. Famous people called John Smith. John Smith and Sons, that first one, the world's oldest bookshop in continuous business. Tadcaster Brewer is also a John Smith, Pocahontas, and, of course, the Labour leader for those two years. John Smith is what I wanted to hear. Cinephiles, your turn to pick a question. Water, please. Water. Ah, the music round or question. What's the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? No. No. Uh, next. I don't recognise that either. Ten. Uh, next. No? <laughs> next. Next. But that's... Possibly. Really Shall really we have the last one? Next. Ten seconds. I haven't a clue. I don't recognise any of them. Uh, Shall we go for that? Yes. We haven't got anything about it. We haven't uh, Something to do with a circus, possibly? I'm afraid it's yeah. not. There's a bonus chance for you, accountants. We'd go for theme tunes of game shows. That's not it either. That last ghastly piece of music was a theme from a game show, Gladiators. The others were the Gladiator March, the theme from the film Gladiator... And that uh, one, I think, you thought of clowns. That, 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 that is actually entry of the gladiators. Yeah, right. So gladiators was the link there. No points. Accountants, you've only got one question to choose, so I'll choose it for you. It's the Eye of Horus. Your first clue is coming up now. Subject to their owl husbands. Um, next. This is my epitaphs or something, yeah, they could. Um, should we see the next, please? Can we see on more? There could be epitaph. Um, I'm not sure. Is it worth seeing the next one? Yeah, see the next one. Uh, we'll see the next one, please. Ten seconds. From yeah, the Spike Spike Lee, right? Spike Milligan's one. Three seconds. Are they Spike Milligan quotes? They are not Spike Milligan quotes. Although it would be lovely if they were. Do you want to go for a bonus, Cinephiles? Yes, I think it is uh, famous misprints in editions of the Bible. That's exactly what it is. The first one, which should say subjection to their own husbands from 1944, the other's 17th and 18th Bible misprints. What should they be? You, Mr Firth, the Dawkins Hello. fan, I'm going to ask you, <laughs> yeah. what about that second clue? What should that say? Um, I'm not sure about the second one. I mean, I can see what the other ones should probably be. I can guess quite well, but I don't think, I don't think the second one I'm, is, is... I'm not familiar enough with the Bible, really. The second one, Psalm 119, Princes okay. Have Persecuted Me. Uh, what about the third one? Go and sin no more, presumably. Very good, from John. And the last no, thou one... Thou shalt not commit adultery. Very good. I'm delighted to hear that yes. some of that information has filtered through the heathen Dawkins. Excellent. At the end of round one, then... After some brave early buzzing, the accountants unfortunately have no points. The cinephiles are ahead with five. <music> round two, the sequence is round. I want to know what's the fourth in a sequence, so teams, you may see up to three clues before giving me the answer. Cinephiles, you'll be going first again. What would you like? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. It's going to be a P. 
picture series. So what would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. It's the Brooklyn Bridge, isn't it? I believe. It's not good. It's good for that. Next, please. Uh, who's that? That Romeo. Oh, haha. Really? The, these are the um, Beckham sons. So it's Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz, and Harper. Okay, and then for the seven. Harper seven. Uh, a picture of Harper Lee or some Hop other seven. Harper seven. Harper seven. Well, yes, her name it is, is a picture of Harper Lee. Why yeah. is that? Yeah. Uh, because these are the Beckham's children. Embarrassing that I know this. It's Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz, and Harper. That's it. They're the children of David and Victoria Beckham getting younger, and the youngest is what's the time? Harper seven. You can't imagine how happy our question editor was when the Beckham said a fourth child. <laughs> a sequence he cried, <laughs> toasting them with champagne. So, very well done. Over to you, accountants. What would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, so I didn't, um, Remember three, two, yeah. zero. Let's see the next one, please. Where's Glasgow? Um, could be not, not motorways, could they be railway terminuses, could they be in size, Scottish city? City. Your English cities in size. Why do we have three, four? Um, next, please. I was Liverpool, so it's going to be six in a British city. Ten seconds. So they're in decreasing size. Um, Manchester's pretty bigger than Liverpool, so six Newcastle. Three seconds. Six equals Manchester. You're off the blocks, you get the point very well done. Six equals Manchester. Why is that? Um, so they're UK cities in decreasing order of population. So one and two would be London and Birmingham. Interesting theory. That's not the answer. They are, in fact, dialing codes. 0131 for Edinburgh, 41 for Glasgow, 51 for Liverpool. If you wanted to phone someone in Manchester and bucking modern trends not to use their mobile, 0161. Very well done. You get the points. And back to the cinephiles to pick a question. Um, Horn Viper, please. The Horn Viper. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Change anything. Yeah, we'll next. Names of. Who are some famous Louises? There aren't many, are there? No, guess that uh, next one, please. Ah, ah okay. she's a princess. Lu no. Lady Louise Windsor. So these are reverse order of succession. So Beatrice is older than Eugenie, so it'll be her next one. Beatrice. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Beatrix. Beatrice, sorry, Beatrice. Beatrice is correct for two points. Why is that? Uh, I think these are the Queen's grandchildren in reverse age order. So, James. The Queen's grandchildren yeah. starting with the youngest, yeah. James. James is the son of whom? Uh, Edward, I believe. That's right, Prince Edward and Sophie. What's his title? Uh, the Earl of Wessex. That's Edward. James is oh, Viscount sorry. Seven. Uh, right. Just making sure that you know our royal family children as well as you do the Beckhams. Yes. Very good for the points. <laughs> Excellent. Back to you, accountants. What would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Scholar Fever, Scholar. Um, next. Scholar Four. Are they books in a sequence or something? Scholar Four. Um, and next, please. Yeah, so uh, Sherlock Holmes says, so studying Scarlet, number four, Hand of the Baskervilles. Uh, uh, it was the, what was it called? The, the Great Words, is it? Was it the uh, Yeah, so it'd be the last book that he wrote for, I think. So. Ten seconds. What's the book called? Rice Star, I think. The Rice Star, is it called? Should we press that? Three seconds. Rice Star? Rice Star? I'm afraid that is not the answer. So I will go over to the cinephiles, possible bonus. Is it fear? It is fear. I thought Mr Kelly might get this one. Yeah. He did. <laughs> Why is it fear? Uh, they're the Sherlock Holmes novels, last words of the titles. That's right, and after the Hound of the Baskervilles, The Valley of Fear. fear. Why did you go with Reichstag there? I got the connection, but I forgot the name of the last book, so... W were you thinking of the Reichenbach Falls? I, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of, yeah. yeah not, of course, the title of the uh, story, no, is it? It's no. called... The Final Problem. The Final Problem. So you were in the zone, except you said Reichstag instead of Reichenbach, and that's not the book, and that's not yeah. its title, but otherwise, <laughs> a flawless answer. <laughs> Cinephiles, your own question, then. Lion, please. Lion. First of a sequence coming up now. 
some sort of schedule. That's army time, isn't it? Well, possibly. Is it what? Let's go for another one. Uh, next, please. Morning. Yeah, I, I bet it is. Kids. Yeah. So four hours would be noon, and then the last one would be sixteen hundred. So what would that be called? I don't know. Do you know? And watch. Well, that's at night, I think. Should it just be afternoon? Uh, next, please. Ten seconds. Oh, that's afternoon. Um, sixteen hundred. What do you want to call it? Three seconds. No. Um, sixteen hundred. Dog watch. I'll take it. I'd like to have heard 1600 first dog. They are naval watches, but dog or anything in that area would be right for that watch. Very well done, just with three seconds to go. Excellent. So one question remaining for you, accountants. It's water. First of a sequence coming up now. Extra is like the French for extra. Um, um, is it a stage direction as well? Should we, should we see the next? Yeah. Next, please. Oh, yeah, it's um, it's. So extract is like really strong. Oh uh, yeah, okay. And then you'd have eau de parfum, eau de cologne, and then you'd have. Oh, would you have like essence? They're getting stronger. Yeah. Um. Next, please. Something that's just essence is the. Is the Ten one. seconds. Essence. I'm afraid that's not it. So over to the cinephiles for a possible bonus. Um. Yeah, we could try that. Uh, Eau de Cologne? It is Eau de Cologne. And I know, accountants, that you know what that is, because you were talking about it. They're commonly available strengths of fragrance getting weaker and weaker than Eau de Toilette would be Eau de Cologne. Meaning, at the end of round two, the accountants have got two points, but the cinephiles are ahead with 14. Time for the connecting wall. 16 clues all jumbled up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably won't want to play along at the same time. But if you do and do, it's on our website. Accountants, I hope you're familiar with this round and you're going to get the choice, lion or water. Which would you like? Uh, water, please. Water. Two and a half minutes to solve it. Starting now. OK, types of architecture could be yeah, with Gothic. Vaults. Vault. It's an it's archway, isn't it? So... Um, and oh, we've got towns in um, Kendall, Barrow, Cockermouth. They're in the they're in the lakes. Yeah, it could be. Egg. No. Millen. Um, no. Okay, True Blue is a movie about rowing. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. Holidays, okay. Other... Holidays and movies. Movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't see any of the movies I recognise. The normal Starbase. No. no. Um, Borderline might be sports movie, True Blue. Okay. Vault. Pole Vault, Pole. What, what would Millen be with an M? What's that? No, I feel like there's must be a one. name. Is that a town? Well, I tried them? that with these. Let's leave Barrow out. There, okay. okay. Um, so Shot Put, Pole Vault. No, um, Barrow, Barrow. Barrow's a town as well, isn't it? We're about halfway town. through the time. We've already, we've got, already town got a town, so yeah, so, okay. So, cyst could be spelt differently, vol could be spelt differently, vault shot. I think there might be a word one in here somewhere. Yeah, I think it might be linked to the robber in Barrow, though. Robber, Barrow, cyst, and. Um, what else have we got? That's true blue. What board. could frozen be? Frozen assets. Um, what else could be frozen? Frozen veg. Um, what else can you be borderline on? Uh, borderline. An exam. Borderline what? Um, okay, so what, what were the architecture ones? Let's go back to those. So gothic. I don't see any other architectures here. Yeah, yeah, 30 seconds. Let's just keep tapping that. Shot put. Um, frozen, shot put, frozen put. Okay, what would the other uh, ones be? Um, okay, perhaps that's not. Uh, uh, yeah. True blue. Mm. Ten seconds. I think night. Um, that's a storm. And you're out. 
out of time, but you found a group, so that's a point. I'll give you a bonus if you can tell me what is the connection there. So they all in the lakes, then... Are we, are we sure on that? Definitely. Is that a, are, they, are they in Cumberland? Mm. Okay. So we go for Lakeland Towns. Hello. Or, um, are they Lakeland Towns? Basically, there's a word I'd like to hear. Of the northwest of England? <laughs> all Cumberland. in Cumbria, but Cum I mean, it is, it is the lake, so I'll give it to you. And you can still get bonuses for the connections of the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Right, what about the green group? Do you think put, possibly? Put on. I don't see how I guess we rob her. But I, I need an answer. They all go with the word put. No, it is that sort of thing. You can put the word bank in front of all of them. Bank shot's a sporting thing. Bank gothic is a typeface. There's a type of vole called the bank vole, and bank robbers I'm sure you're familiar with. Oh, okay. In a non libelous way. <laughs> I just mean you've read about them. And what about that uh, next group in pink there? Yeah, Mastaba. Mastaba, man. Could you change one letter in them? I have to no, hurry I you. Um, I don't think you know it. They're burial structures. Burial, mound, vault. They're all ways in which people can be buried. So you were muttering about architecture at one point. Yeah, it is yeah, an architectural, yeah. but it's. Specifically about burial. And the last one, Holiday, Frozen, True Blue, Borderline. Well, they're all movies, but what's... To a sports movie, sorry. Um, True Blue's about rowing. That might not be... I mean, there might be Borderline, you think, is probably I'm going to stop movie. you because they are not all films. A couple of them are, but not all of them. You're not, I think, fans of Madonna. They are Madonna <laughs> numbers, is what they are. Sometimes it's obvious when you look. But you did find one group and a connection for that one. So it's two points. It's time to bring in your opponents now. The accountants will now be removed and put in a sealed vault while the cinephiles come in to play their own connecting wall. 16 new clues still need to be solved in the same way. Hello again, cinephiles. You're going to get the lion wall. You've got two and a half minutes. Starting now. Okay. Stewie, he's from the family guy. So is Brian. Yeah. Okay. Meg. Oh, but Cleveland and Quagmire are both. Uh, I'll try one of them. Try Quagmire, because he's not going to be anything else. Uh, no, I'm one of Oh, you took off Meg. Uh, did I? Oh, can you try the other ones, Tim? Right. Okay. Maidenhead, Slough, Windsor, those are on the same. Um, okay, what else have we got? The same train line. Reading. Windsor. Reading, Slough, Slough, Maidenhead, and Windsor are all on the same. Oh, no. Oh, what about Marlow? Uh, no, it must not be that. Um, okay. London. What about the Thames? The Thames? Uh, Abingdon's yeah. Abingdon's on the Thames. Yep. Windsor's on the Thames. Marlow is on the Thames, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no. Maybe the head is. No. There you go. Right, okay. right, let's get these family guys sorted out. Stewie Meg. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, well, Cleveland maybe is the... No. no. Okay. What else could these go? Marsh, uh, field Marsh. glasses, opera glasses, glasses, 3D glasses. What else? Glasses. Reading glasses. Okay. Right. Let's, right, let's be Marsh. careful. Okay, so it's it's Marsh, Quagmire, yeah. Slough, yeah. Morass. Yes. Okay, so we're happy with that. So basically, yeah. what are they? Things yeah. that get stuck in? Are they wetlands? Things you get They're stuck in? They're kind of like uh, bogs. Bog. Bog. Halfway through the right. time, and, and you've got three the strikes. Ones. Are the characters from the Family Guy? Yeah. 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 Well done. Mm. You've solved the wall. Very good. That's four points immediately. Let's see if we can find. The connections: Maidenhead, Windsor, Marlow, Abingdon. On the towns, Thames. towns on the Thames. They are towns on the Thames. Can you tell me the counties? Uh, well, Howard's Abingdon's. from Abingdon. <laughs> yeah, Maiden uh, Oxfordshire. <laughs> Oxfordshire. Maidenhead is Berkshire. Marlow is Buckinghamshire. Abingdon, Oxfordshire. Windsor mm -hmm. is Windsor is Berkshire again. Yeah. Very good. They are all on the Thames, though. That's all I needed to know. That's the connection. And the next one, the Green Group. What about that? The yeah. types of glasses. 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 All to be followed by glasses, reading or reading. Of course, the red herring there. What about this now? Marsh, slough, morass, quagmire. Wet, the, sticky the, things you can bogs, get stuck in. Bogs. Bogs would be another way of putting yeah. it. They're all bogs. Absolutely right. And what about this last group? Brian, Stewie, Cleveland, Meg. They're all characters from The Family Guy. They're from the cartoon Family Guy. You didn't recognise them all. Which ones did you know and not know? Of The Family Guy? Yeah. Uh, we, no, we had five. That was we the had problem. Five. We had Quagmire, he's from the Family Guy as well. Oh, you had five, yes. Brian is the Griffin's dog, Dogs. apparently. I've never seen an episode. It's pretty funny. You won't be surprised. I'm Tom and Jerry only. Cleveland Brown is Peter Griffin's mild-mannered former friend. Well, I feel like I've caught up with the plot, so yeah. I've covered that. <laughs> Very well done, then. You found the four groups. You knew the four connections. You get a bonus two points for getting it all right. That is a maximum of ten. Let's see how that affects the scores going into the final round.
The accountants have got four points. The cinephiles are ahead with 24. If you crave more walls, you'll find them on our website, where you can also make your own. But here, it's time to be subject to our vowel husbands. Accountants, I'm wishing you a strong round four. Missing vowels, of course. We've taken out the vowels, squidged up the consonants. What are the disguised phrases? Fingers on buzzers, please. The first group are all comedians born in Wales. Cinevals? Rod Gilbert. Correct. Cinevals? Sir Harry Seacombe. Correct. Cinevals? Helen Lederer. Correct. Accountants? Paul Whitehouse. Lovely. Next category, analgesics. Accountants? Codeine. Correct. Accountants? Heroin. Correct. Cinephiles? Cinephiles for the gaffer. Correct. Accountants? Ibuprofen. Yes, it is. Next category, world famous golf courses. Cinevals? Carnoustie. Correct. Cinevals? Augusta National. Correct. Accountants? Uh, too long, report. I'm afraid. I have to take a point away. There's a chance for you, Cinevals. That's too long as well. The answer is Royal Portrush. Next clue. This one's in Scotland, too late. It's old course. Next category, cat breeds. Cinevals? Abyssinian. Correct. Accountants? Siamese. Correct. Cinevals? Maine Coon. Correct. Cinevals? Russian Blue. Correct. Next category, <laughs> There will be no next category because it's the end of the quiz. The accountants finish on eight points, but the winners are the cinephiles with 33. Very well done. Excellent score. I think, Nancy, you can consider yourself already avenged against the crossworders. <sighs> Unlucky for you, accountants. You were so close so many times. I think in those early rounds, the brave early buzzing was just a little bit too brave. Very well played. Join me next time for two more teams separated only by the speed of their reactions. Unless things get messy, in which case they'll be separated by the bouncers from the Jeremy Kyle show. They're always here anyway on standby in case I bump into Paxman in the corridor. Unluckily for him, the injunction doesn't cover his house. Goodbye. <laughs>Stay with us here on BBC Four. We head into the Med next to uncover the so-called soft underbelly of Hitler's Europe in a brand new film. And then at half past ten, extraordinary resistance from the children who fought Hitler. <laughs>